And hello, all of my fellow nerds out there. This is Oracle Nerd Richie, and welcome back once again to Throw Up Club. So, last time, uh, we had to go somewhere to get some lunch. Um, and we got ourselves some jelly nettle fruit. Two filling fruits from the, je from the jelly nettles in, in the portico. I should eat these in the library. And we're in the library right now. Let's see if I can find anything. Serene pulls a book off the shelf. The Illusion of New. It's a book on technology. Oh yeah, we had to pick a book to read. Um... Yeah, might as well read it. Serene sits down and opens the book to a random page. And that brings us to the topic of AR and VR technologies. Would you believe that such tech existed in its infancy for generations? Or more specifically, headsets with AR and pass-through technology. Many headsets used today are, have always been available from the mines through, throughout Sanatoria, only requiring a moderate amount of maintenance to get working, Fre fresh out of the walls. In fact, the use of AR has specifically been used pro prolific prolifically throughout history to help to tell train surgeons and doctors. For many years, this tech was considered purely medical, likely due to the built-in natural medical AR programs establishing a culture and public perception around the devices. As for our research of natural tech advanced, tech advanced and we better understood the details of, of AR tech, people began to make their own programs to expand capabilities. Fast forward to modern day Sanatoria, and you'll see that both AR and VR tech used not only medically, but recreationally. It can be found at home, gaming centers, entertainment establishments, and even AR bars that allow people from all over the clinic to meet up face to face, face to face for the first time. Huh. Interesting. I've been to a couple of AR bars with Leda. I'll have to tell her about this sometime. I'll, I'll scan it in my USB reader so I don't forget. USB 2.1 Tell of the ghost Read it, it's long Uh Might as well Opens the book to a random page Biosetics are widely known as close as a closer and a more integrated unity of item and, and body beyond of that of prosthetic what makes it so different? When prosthetics seek to bandage or replace functional parts of the body with inorganic substitutes, biostatics seek to expand upon them. Because the human body is is an open and shut case, expanding upon it with, with extra parts requires either hijacking part of a person's existing brain signals or using a part that, that has become null. For example, a prosthetic finger would require some form of mental command to use. That can, be that, can be garnered by that can be garnered by allowing the user to manipulate the finger using the nerve signals sent to the adjacent finger or signals sent by nerves that once controlled a, pro a properly amputated finger. <laughs> As you can probably tell, both solutions requiring either a missing limb or the use of existing nerve signal are not ideal. They meet the requirements for prosthetics, but are clearly not viable for the advanced features of biostatics that biostatics make use of. So, how do biostatics get around this? Integrated wetware! Biostatics, unlike pros prosthetics, do not directly link to a person's ner nervous system. <laughs> Instead, they link to an organic wetware computer that can that then itself links to a person's nervous system. <clears throat> the computer adds more brain power to the host. It often it is often grown from the, from the cells of their body, and is custom designed to handle the complex operations of the connected biostatic. These wetware computers come from two forms, NP MBPs, neuron biostatic processors, and OBPs, or organoid biostatic processors. NBPs are grown out of the host skin cells and, and are sort of a neuron array or organic computer chip that acts like an extension of the host brain. The vast majority of biostatics in use today are, are run with NBPs for, for their reliability and moral sound, soundness. NBPs cannot act without a command from the, 
from their parenting nervous system or without extensive solo training used to program to program them for a specific task. On the other hand, OBPs are far more advanced and capable of meeting cutting edge and theoretical biostatic commands or demands. However, unlike now how NBPs are controlled by their parent nervous system, OBPs openly communicate with their with their parents and are composed of organoids in place of neurons. Instead of being direct extensions of the brain, they're more akin to to additional lesser brains that cooperate with their connected larger brain. While OEPs are superior in capability, they're more they're more advanced in intel advanced intelligence can sometimes cause issues with their ho with their hosts by sending their own signals instead of merely accepting them. Study patients have reported experiencing additional incoherent thoughts, habits, feelings, and emotions. Because of this, OBPs have been temporarily used in limited research cases and are not publicly available. That was a long excerpt. Reading about wetware makes me queasy, but I'll scan this my USB reader anyway. Okay, wait. Oh, another one over here. What's this doing here? Did someone misplace it? Some kind of diary. Let's scan the page of my USB reader. Ooh! Wait, uh, USB reader. 2.1.1, misplaced diary. Today we, we went to the store. She, she ordered food, she ordered food for her, for her, but not me. Me trapped, me yell. She say no, she shut back, she say right. Today we went to the store. She bought herself, herself food, but no, but none for me. I was feeling enclosed and I didn't like that, but she said it was best, best for me. Go, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. It's, it's happening to, again today, over and over. It never stops. She must labor, patience exclamation, patience exclamation marks. She trounces over language. Good job. Tired of learning. It's getting annoying. Doing it, doing it day in, day out. She wants me to recall things as well. Oh, but who though? That's the question. I see a courtyard from here. Is someone out there? I know how I work. If I turn, if I turn on that TV, I lose track of time. Don't even consider it, Serene. Alright. Let's go ahead and eat. Serene takes a seat. And begins to eat. <laughs> you take a seat. There's a knock on the door. I wonder who it's for. <laughs> Serene. Zay! Z Zay? Hey, Sue. Serene! I hope you don't mind if we join you. Not at all. Come sit. Ooh, I really like your design already. Dude, the swirly eyes, that looks so cool. So, how was the little one? Kimmy? Still too smart for her own good. She's been a handful for every nanny I've, I've had o hand her over to, but, hallu but hallucine. Handful? Yep. She asks way too many questions and gets bored of things quickly. I wish I could be there for her more, but it's rough. Even my recent free time, I'm just not there for her when I'm working. She needs constant, and I mean constant stimulation. <laughs> like someone else I know. Zay sways her head, cradled in her, by her hands. She's really sweet, though. Yep. Sometimes it feels like she's taking care of me instead. Maybe she'll grow up to be like Serene then? The three munch silently for a moment as Valerie st stares at Serene. Yep. You really think so? Zay nods with vigor. Yep. Maybe she'll, maybe she'll make a nice sterly partner too someday, huh? Oh, sorry. Maybe it's best she doesn't have a job like ours. As much as I push her away from Sterly, she seems dead set on it. She wants to be a size pack? Does she look up to you? Probably points a fork towards you. 
She looks up to you. You were the cool one, apparently. Ali rolls her eyes playfully. She never shuts up about Auntie Sue. But it's kind of adorable, though, so I give her a pass. <laughs> I don't even do half the job of a side spec, though. She knows that, but she doesn't care. For whatever reason, she thinks auditing is cool. Like, it makes you look like some kind of trench coat investigator. Mom is just, Mom is just the cop with extra... Mom is just a cop with extra steps in her head. That's not true. She loves you. <clears throat> but you know how kids are. They always want to see what's around the corner, huh? Especially the smart ones. Yep. You're right. I was just pulling your leg anyway. Hey. <laughs> so cute. The trio finishes up their meals. Belly heads out first. But Zay stops in the doorway, laying the door shut in front of her. Say? Serene? Are you okay? Serene? Zay stops pacing for a moment and gives you a hearty hug. What? Watch the horns! Wait, those- wait, those are actual horns on her head! I didn't even notice! I didn't even see them! Owie. It's been a minute, hasn't it? We keep missing each other, huh? Huh? She gives you a lay elbow. It really has been that long. Duh, yeah. Like, two weeks? That's a long time for people working at the same place. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. What have you been up to? I took that advice you gave me. You bought a wa the waterfall humidifier? Yeah, several in fact. Thank you, thank you. I'm sleeping better, feeling better, yada yada. No kidding. You're bouncing all over the place. These legs d just don't keep still. <laughs> Swing cracks a shy smile. They don't, huh? Uh, wait. Okay, so that. I keep forgetting my controls. <laughs> Swing reaches her hand out and places it on top of Zay's head. She runs her fingers through strands that feel like silk. And Zay's bouncing comes to a stop. At least not until I do this. <laughs> Can I hire you to do this all day long? Depends. How much are you paying? My gratitude. Hmm, let's see. No deal. Ah. I've, I've already got a pet. Who? <gasps> Yuffie? Three nods. Surely there's enough room for both for us both. Sorry, my hands are full. Have you asked Valley? Duh! Like a gazillion billion times! And with her, I'm serious, you know? I want to do all kinds of stuff, but... Tell Mama what's up. I feel like she just still doesn't know. I make her food, I give her pretty bouquets, I told her today her eyes remind me of honey. By Mary, I bet she tastes like honey too! S sorry Did I say that out loud? <laughs> she drives me crazy! But I still feel like she has no clue! Oh, she knows. Are you sure? Are you sure sure? Because it seems like she thinks I'm jesting. I even started deadpanning when other people, when other people were around. To, to let her know she's different to me. And she told me to stop. That's because she likes you how you are, Zay. I'm not so sure. She's just stressed and confused. Mary's had a rough history, and she's not used to people being so genuine. She wants to reciprocate. She just needs time. I promise. Keep doing what you're doing. It's helping her thaw. I know it would crush her if she changed. Today pumps her fist lightly. Right. <laughs> you haven't let me down before, so I'm gonna trust you on this, okay? Okay? Okay. <laughs> Great. 
I'm gonna run. I'm gonna go run to her then. Can't let her be alone. Hi, girl. Wait up! I'm coming. <laughs> Always a delightful handful. I'm really glad she's help. She's sleeping better. Oh, uh, bad enough. Okay. Oh, there's nothing else. Let's go, let's go ahead and leave. You going in? The girl loudly smacks her. Smack some gum. Uh, no? Wait, wait. Imal Imaladi? Alright then. You're so cute! Wait. Who are you? Imalad Imaladi. Do you work here? She smacks her, li her lips and gives you a look of disgust. Really, Serene? <laughs> Wait, what's in here? Oh, the courtyard. I thought the cold spray of the fountain hitting me from here. More of those flowers from up front. Parched coxcombs, I think. I wonder if Rivian takes care of these as well. Okay, wait. I'm gonna... I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna see the map real quick. Okay, so... I'm on the bottom right. Wait, am I in the bottom right? Or am I in one in the top left? No, I'm in... No way, I'm in El Dino Court. What am I thinking? We're in the corner leading to the court. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's the library, so. Go here. Ooh, what's all this? USB 20.1. Oh, I didn't want to go in there. Go back. Not yet. I am... Dude, this layout is confusing me. Oh, wait a second. USB 27.1. Go easy on the, on the new stripes. You tone it down on the, on the recruits. Screaming at potentials before they even join Sterly is one thing, but intentionally hurting trainees during spars isn't a good good look. Hunty called called me this morning to let me know she was quitting. Apparently, you scattered her rib cage. How is she supposed to safely learn evasive, evasiveness if, if training is as dangerous as the real thing? I'm going to oversee your spars in next week's morning. Morning to assess recruit safety. Recruit safety myself. Tips retainer Jika. Approved handling injuries is part of the list and approved training requirements. Tips head of SIA Ferris. Yeah, fake injuries. You're not supposed to actually shatter the ribcage of a recruit. That's that's not included anywhere in the recruit's manu manual. Might I suggest you formally prohibit actions before policing me? Policing me for them. Done. Stop doing it. <laughs> Other ghosts? Big sister raid. I think we read. Why use USBs as surly? Because USBs cannot be easily be tampered with, and they cannot be in intercepted. Do I need to remind you that Sterling is has an interloper? You, you're permitted to text casual of, or non-critical information to anyone, but getting in the habit of mailing or printing USBs through, through the terminals is good work ethic anyways. The terminals belong to Providence, and sending messages through them where, where they can also 
Also, read them cuts down on the amount of work I had to do. All site spec texts have to be hand typed, hand typed out, or scanned directly by me and handed to Providence via USBs. Please don't put more work on my plate than absolutely necessary. Jika. Phone code for sleeping. But the bed the tectum is basically a, a communal room for side specs and crisis nurses who need to stay the night early. This Valley's brew maker. She brought a second one to one to leave here for when she crashes in the crashes here. Okay. Let's go back this way. In here. Oh, there's someone here. I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't even notice you. I found Pax Tonfa shaft. The, the door is over the items thing. Uh, inventory. Pax Tonfa shaft. Broken shaft of a blunt weapon. Tomp. Tonfas are a PAX officer's most commonly used meanings of subduing delinquents. Okay. Okay, uh, let's talk to you then. Who are you? Hello? Sup? Oh, you're Ferreth! Yo! Okay, you look cool. <clears throat> ah, Ferreth. How many times do I have to tell you people? I go by Wrath. Don't call me Ferret unless you're my boss. Sorry, Rath. Rath takes two cigs out from her mouth and tosses them on the floor to be stomped. Don't apologize. Just don't do it. So? <clears throat> what do you want? I like her design, though. It looks really cool. Uh, You have a boss? Any news of the Saboteur case? You trained Yuffie? You have a boss? I thought you don't have a boss. Unless you meant Jika. Jika has no power over the internal affairs sector of Sterling. It's important for keeping Sterling clean. So, what boss are you talking about then? That's Elaine, the previous head of the sector. Isn't she gone? Like, didn't she leave on her own accord? Or something? Fuck off now, alright? <laughs> alright, alright. Jeez. Any news of the saboteur case? Catch the saboteur yet? Heh. <laughs> I wish. We've been looking for them, for them years before you joined up. When we cracked down, they stepped back a little. But I meant. But I imagine it was just to cover their tracks better. There's still a serious nuisance. Have y'all regained? Have y'all gained any any ground? We've ruled people out. Well, that's something at least. Mm-hmm. You trained Yuffie? I heard you trained Yuffie. I trained every new member. But yeah, she's she's my charge too. If that's what you meant. I was more just, like, acknowledging she was part of Sterling now. She's a CN now, yes. And? And, uh, how'd she do? With her sacred test? The best of anyone. Higher percentage score than Jika had. She scored higher than Jika? Fuck no, she didn't. Chill. She had a higher percentage score than Jika's entry scores. A gazillion years ago. That's still crazy. You're telling me that I recorded it. It makes her the highest percentage scoring Sterly recruit ever. Granted, side specs are ranked on a far more far more than combat and cleanup. There's more that can go wrong. Getting a 100 on a cooking exam is easier than getting getting one on a cooking and shooting exam. Besides, Yuffie originally applied for the SciSpec program but failed her basic knowledge tests. So she's heavily weighted, 
weighted, is that what you're saying? Yeah. And sacred percentage isn't as important as looking at an in individual scores. Every tips in Sterling scores top on something. Spread of various scores tells us about someone's ex expertise and about their weakness. You can gauge what role they fill by comparing their scores on, to the tips members. So, who does Yuffie's sacred spread compare best with? Ribian? No, Ika. Uh, so what are you doing? So what are you up in? What are you doing in CIA? Hall? S SIA Hall. It's so hard to remember. It's SIA, not CIA. <laughs> That's something completely different. What does it look like? A smoke break? Yeah. This early? Yeah. This early. And I'm already stressed the fuck out. What happened? I'm trying to budge thousand to taking side step courses. She's smart. She could do it. Why won't she? Apart from wanting to stay in Nelly C stay Nelly C N, she's a fucking killer. She doesn't care about anything but scotching liabilities. And she's good at it. But Nelly doesn't have to lift a finger, despite not having an exemption. I've even considered handing Thaos over to you. But Thaos and I don't get along? Thaos doesn't get along with anyone but Nelly. So I thought, maybe if I forced her with you, she'd finally become a side spec. Did get away from me? Yeah. Wasn't Yuffie planning on filling, filing for a partnership with me, though? Planning? She did. She texted me the papers at, at the ass crack of day. And? And what? Are you going to approve them? Brett smugly grins and speaks coyly. If I told you, wouldn't that spoil Chica's pre precious serene time? She didn't get to see you often, you know. It's because if she's all over me. She took a single traumatized exempt girl under her care. And no others since becoming a retainer. She trained you personally instead of handing you over to me for schooling. So yeah. She gets something mad weird for you. She she just doesn't know how to say it. How to build the responsibility ropes. You're wounded. Just now figuring that out. <laughs> Rest pulls out two more cigarettes. <laughs> why don't you have a shape? I've been wondering, why don't you have a shape? My eyes? Yeah. Are they stuffing? No. Then why are they like that? Wouldn't you like to know? Hey, how's your ward? How's your ward? Ward? I don't have a chosen ward. I send recruits to whichever ever ward, whichever is the most vacant. Which is Daughterfly for the time being. I thought your ward was GA. It maybe. It may be where I do IA work and where I wait for jobs, but GA is Jika's chosen ward. What? But she takes jobs in, in Congenial. Congenial is also her ward. She has two? Sure does. Okay, uh, goodbye. Bye. Yeah. The miniature precision scatter x ray machine. Recruits have to put their belongings through it when they when they enter Surly. That goes deeper in SIA, pe where people were investigated and tried. It's also where Ferris trains the new people. You can train me personally, though. Okay. Through here. And through here? The elevator goes into ideal court where Chica is. I got a message. Oh. New messages. Dika, I'm ready for you, for you whenever, just don't take too long. Okay, Yuffie. Hope you're having fun with Chica, Lamau. <laughs> oh, right, my notepad tells me what to do. Meet with Chica. I'm done eating breakfast, and I got to meet up with both Valley and Jay. Chica should be ready for me now, but I, sh but I still have time to say hello to people. Alright. 
Uh, well then, I think this is actually a good time to leave this episode here for now. Uh, so, we're going to meet up with Jika in the next episode. I get to, I get to learn a lot more about this world, and I'm already, I'm already very fascinated with this. Also, I can make the door move like that with my mouse. So weird. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to leave this episode here for now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment what you think, share this video with your friends, and be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a single notification. I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye. You say you want to try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason.